Very, very, very nice. Clarence, after eight years of working hard and you get a record that size, what goes through your mind? Well, you, uh, I don't know exactly what goes through my mind. I just feel good, you know. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it's really exciting uh, for the first thing. And then you wonder, what do you do next? Well, did anybody ever teach you to sing the way you do? Uh, no, I never, uh, at first I never wanted to sing, actually. I used to play a guitar in, in another fellow's band, and uh, the only way I came about singing was one night the uh, vocalist for the band didn't show up, and he asked me, could I sing? And I said, well, I'll try. And, uh, they all seemed to like it and told yeah, me to stick with it. That's know? an understatement to say the least. Did you write Slip Away? Uh, yes, uh, I wrote it along with uh, one of the other members of my band. How many men do you carry with you when you travel? Well, we usually carry around seven, eight. Got a whole troop there. What's your fondest ambition? If you could have all the professional good things happen to you, what would you like to have happen? I believe right off hand, I'd say uh, if the day ever comes that uh, I headline a show at the Apollo Theater, it would be a great, great dream come true. I've heard a lot of people say that, and I have no doubt that 1969 will be the year, maybe 68. I shouldn't put it off that far. <laughs> Wish you all good luck. Mr. Clarence Carter, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for being with us.